All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your out-of-date SmackDown review. I watched this shit in the middle of the day there. It's early. I, I, I start watching it on YouTube. It's early. I got energy. I'm bored to death. Now I feel like going to sleep because these shows are a waste of time. Anti-entertainment. It's like watching a show for babies. You're gonna, you know, not want to watch this shit for a couple hours straight because it's not geared for us. It's boring and it's PG. Starts off with Vicky Guerrero and Alberto. Alberto's afraid of fighting the mighty Cena, shit like this. So he's begging her not to, to fight Cena. You know, Alberto's the world champ. He's so afraid that he has to beg not to fight Cena. How tough do they want to try to make him look? He's boring. He sucks. And he's lame. Okay, making Alberto look like a bitch for Cena isn't going to make us cheer for him. Anyway, she, she tells him if he doesn't want to fight Cena, he has to kiss her. So he kisses her different ways there. Then she says, kiss my ass. You know, but uh, if she doesn't like him, why would she kiss him on the lips? Shit like this big thing there, if, if she doesn't like him. You know, oh, you disgust me. Please exchange your germs in my mouth there. It doesn't make sense, okay? And then... Sandow comes out. It sets up a match between Sandow and Alberto. But they're trying to make Sandow look like a face now. Fuck you, his gimmick isn't face-like. <laughs> Supposed to be a heel for fuck's sakes. Now he's gonna win the belt and become a big nerd or something. They're gonna water him down. You know, I don't like that. First match, Curtis Axel defeated R-Truth. Another fucking rematch, predictable win. Boring, Curtis Axel match as usual. Second match, Los Matadors defeated some luchador jobbers, okay? Um, the wrestling is okay, like watered down lucha, but it's PG as fuck, it's nerdy, it's lame. It's not meant for adults that aren't Ned Flanders or something. Anywhere beyond uh, more badass than Ned, this, this shit isn't going to be for you. You're not going <laughs> to... Ole! <laughs> El Torino! Whatever, you know, people aren't like this. This is made for children. Third match, Brie Bella and the Funkadactyls. Funkadactyls, whatever. Defeated Natalia, Caitlin, and... Eva Marie in a pointless throwaway garbage match with no wrestling talent whatsoever involved in the fucking match. As usual. Fourth match, Alberto defeated Sandow again. Sandow, they're trying to portray him as a face in this match. Didn't like it. Um, I liked the match. Decent match. Okay match. Not good. Just, you know, under good and okay somewhere in there. And that's the only match that I enjoyed on the show. And I didn't enjoy it. I was just watching it without puking, basically. The rest of the time, I'm puking buckets. Fifth match, Cali and the primetime players, all dressed in pink. Uh, defeat 3 and B, of course. <laughs> you know, PG horse shit. Why is everything so fucking lame? They had big ratings before on SmackDown. Now it's terrible. Pretty soon it's going to be like TNA on SmackDown, the ratings. And how can, you know, they only have themselves to blame by not having good matches and having garbage like this there. In the main event, Goldust. And Cody Rhodes defeated the Wyatts. And it's the first time that they lost, guys. I... <clears throat> you know, all it was was the sheep guy holding down Goldust. He had him in a bear hug at one point. 
JBL is like, oh, I don't know if Goldust ever dealt with stuff like this in the Attitude Era. A, a bear hug and garbage wrestles? The fuck is that? Do they think that the fans are retards or what there? Um, so yeah, match was boring in my opinion. So one decent match, the rest either there or completely garbage. So I say that it sucked. SmackDown fucking sucked as usual because they don't put effort into the show. They don't even try to make it good. It's just a bunch of garbage that they throw on it for nothing. Pointless garbage. Alrighty, till next time. Peace.